In this video, I'm going to explain how you can find out who's interested in what you're doing in your business. Hi there, Matt Strindstrom here, Shaper of Business Excellence. In this video, I'm going to talk about the stakeholder analysis that we need to do in the business. So, in the previous videos, we've been up here, we've been talking about these green components. We talked about the business idea, we talked about the vision, the strategy goals. We've broken that down into critical success factors, goals and measures. And we talked about strategy as well. We will come back to the other green ones, but now for this video we'll be up here talking about the stakeholders that we have in a business. So what's a stakeholder? A stakeholder is someone that's got an interest in your business. And I see a lot of organizations, they don't really, they don't see the different stakeholders. They see, for example, if it's a municipality, they can say, oh, wait, it's the citizens. Everything is for the citizens, but it's not really true because the citizens are those that owns the business. But there and they have it they they are that they are a stakeholder but there's also people that wants other things than the citizens which means that just grouping everything putting everything together within citizens or just customers that makes things fussy so we need to break that up and see what different stakeholders do we have because if you don't understand those, how are you going to satisfy these different stakeholders' expectations? They want something. They have needs, uh, they have wants, uh, they expect something. But if you don't see them in their role as one of several stakeholders, you don't really know. You don't really know how to satisfy them. And if you don't satisfy these particular stakeholder and the next stakeholder and the next stakeholder, they're going to feel that you don't really deliver the value that they want out of your business. And um, that goes for a public sector organization. It goes for a company. It's the same. So what you need to do here then is to list those different stakeholders that you have in your business. You need to understand who they are. And when you have listed them down, like in this matrix that I show here, then you need to define what they want, who they are, what do they want out of your business? What do they expect from you? You need to be sure that you understand that, because if you don't understand that, Who's going to understand it? Yeah, they understand because they come into your business, whatever hat they're wearing, they're the stakeholders. I am stakeholder A and I expect this. But when I'm being met by this the organization, by the business, I don't get the service that I want because they don't understand me. The business don't understand me as a stakeholder. So when you have listed them, and that could be customer is one, but you can have several customers, and I will come back to that in, in another video. But you can have uh, authorities, they're stakeholders, they want something out of your business as well. You shouldn't pollute, you shouldn't, uh, you should treat your employees in the right way, and so and so on. The owners that we talked about earlier, they're also a stakeholder, they have some expectations, and that we talked about so that you can tick off fairly easy in this matrix. The other ones we haven't talked about, so you need to list, list them as well. And then, finally, when you have under, when you understood all these things, then you need to get an understanding of what process are going to satisfy this particular stakeholder. Because you can't have the master, <laughs> the master process of them all satisfying everyone, um, 100% no, that, that, that isn't how it works because that creates fussiness. To try to satisfy everyone fully within one process is like saying we're not satisfying any because everyone will go out of that process. They will come in here with their expectation, they will follow the process and will come out on the other side and say no, 
<laughs> I'm not satisfied. So you need to understand if you then need to and what should those different processes be that take care of each stakeholder's expectation on your business. So here we start with a little seed about what's coming when we're talking about the processes in your business. But that's for an upcoming video. So that's what you need to do in order to continue to the next step, which I will talk about in an upcoming video then. So have you done a stakeholder analysis within your business? Do you know what stakeholders you have? Or this, um, did this video uh, start you thinking, well, wait a minute, no, I didn't, we, didn't really, we don't really know what's, what interests people or organizations are expecting. What, what do they want out of our business? So please leave a comment down below because I love to see what, what's your experience in this area. And if you like to have this poster for free, click the link below and it will take you to a page where you can download it. Then you can follow along in this video series that I have and you can also read more about each and every one of these uh, very important business excellence components and the relationship between them. And with that said, so until the next video, so let's go and shape our businesses for excellence.